Well, hey there, Leslie here. Well, this is video two of Who Does God Say You Are? And it's going to cover the topic of distinctive. You are very distinctive. And that's a compliment. You are unique. So let's talk about the differences between your purpose and your calling. Your purpose is who you are. All those, and I'm looking at myself too, all those things that make you feel competent and awkward at the same time, that sometimes people give you a strange look over. I know that when I really am, something makes me laugh, I will just laugh so loudly and that's disconcerting to some people. Oh well. <laughs> um, so your purpose in life is how God made you. Your calling is the pathway that you're going to travel down. And you're going to utilize all the giftings and discover new ones that he has given you. Sometimes we can think that that you know, the awkwardness, the, um, that sometimes that lesser than feeling that a person who has zero confidence that, you know, why am I like this? Why am I like this? And how can I possibly be utilized by God? Um, and the feeling of not fitting in anywhere. Mistakes mistake ridden. Now, in my family, it was considered a major sin if you didn't finish a project. And I mean something as simple as knitting um, or crocheting something that you didn't see it to the end, you know. Um, but sometimes you need to just try things. And sometimes you need to make a mistake and fall down and, and you learn from that. I, that. Those are my greatest teachers. I think they are, I think those mistakes, that's how a lot of people learn, okay? It's not just two people on the earth, it's most of us. So, does that mean that you can't be used, that God won't utilize you? Quite the opposite. As long as you are willing and your heart and mind are open to Him utilizing you and your gifts and, your, um, and take you down that path of your calling, you're going to be on your way. As long as you trust him and give him your, your heart and your mind that, yes, you can be utilized and he does have a reason for you to be here. So do you have to change? Well, we do change as we grow and, you know, but it, it doesn't come overnight. It's like one step at a time and he loves us right where we are. That's kind of, it's pretty beautiful. You see quite the jumble of a human being, but he sees perfection through Jesus, through our Savior. So your natural way of being that sometimes we hide from people is totally perfect to him. So why hide it anymore? Just be who you are naturally and let everything fall into place. Trust him follow that begin to follow the path that he's pulling you toward and see what happens and know you don't know all the steps in the future you don't know what the future holds only he knows so every single part of it will be used for his glory every single part and what you possess right now those things that you may think are you know, that maybe aren't appreciated by other people, the who of you, are major assets to him. He made you this way. So let me read you a verse. This is from Ephesians 2.10. For we are the product of his hand, heaven's poetry etched on lives, created in the anointed, Jesus to accomplish the good works God arranged long ago. He knew you before you were in your mother's womb. 
He knew what you would be up to. And if you're open to it and you trust him, let it go, let it be, and go down the path you were destined to go down anyway, and stop fighting it, and stop, start believing that he's got your back all the way. Have a great day. Talk to you in the next video, video number three. You are a warrior.